information on the safe working load of bollards and hooks and layout can be obtained via the terminal operator prior to arrival of the vessel. That information is very important to the captain. Information about the safe working load of bollards or hooks is stenciled on each bollard and hook. Unlike bollards, quick release hooks guarantee easy local and remote release of mooring lines, even if they're still under tension. During the stay, the forces on all hooks are monitored. There's a vital need for a good information, an accurate mooring plan given to the captain of the vessel at sea, providing adequate uh, details about the hooks, the bollards, the mooring line positions, is a vital part of making sure the mooring operation goes smoothly. I think uh, uh, that the information uh, a master needs uh, to brief his crew in a professional way uh, necessitates uh, proper information from the port about the bollard distances, uh, about bollard pulls and the requirements of a port. For instance, how many lines can be put onto one bollard. Uh, there is room for improvement, uh, but that also requires that uh, uh, the ship uh, um, sends in the information on their possibilities. So uh, after all, it's again uh, a mooring plan uh, with the requirements uh, which can solve a lot of problems. Professional line handling starts with a clean and safe working area. Of course, the deck is anti-slip and the working area should be properly lit. The crew should be trained and briefed for the mooring operation. Ideally, there should be a crew of three crew members and one officer on the aft and forward mooring station. If this cannot be realised due to the limited manning of the vessel, mooring operations should be well planned and maximum safety precautions should be taken. Not only the crew on deck, but also linemen ashore should be well trained. All mooring lines are prepared for paying out smoothly, so flaked on deck. And even during the preparation, never stand in the bite of a rope. Each crew prepares two heaving lines, with a good visible and soft monkey fist. It has sometimes happens that the monkey fist is of a material for, uh, as iron or something and that can not only hurt the boatman or other people on the quay, but it can even kill a boatman on the quay. Make sure the spring lines are tensioned so they won't get stuck between fenders and vessel, or even worse, under the fenders. The breast lines are passed from inboard to outboard. And very important, all lines should bear the same tension. During stay in port, spring lines should be on the brake to avoid the ship walking along the quay. Breast lines can be put on auto tension mode. If wind or current is picking up above 4-6, switch for extra safety from auto tension to brake mode because the brake mode is stronger than the tension mode. Finally, when the ship is leaving, one still needs to pay attention to safety. During the unmooring operation, it's very important that there is a constant eye contact between the deck crew, the first mate and the boatman, because when the rope is unmoored, it is in the water, and then it can come into the propeller and it can stuck on the quayside and then you get a critical situation for the boatman as well as the ship. The nautical sector is an innovative sector, constantly looking for improvements of the entire mooring process to make it faster, simpler and better for the environment. A good example is the so-called Moormaster, based on vacuum techniques. The vacuum pads, operated by one push on a button, keep the vessel in a secure position. Another innovative mooring system without any line handling is based on magnetics. 
A system that doesn't require modifications to the key and can be used anywhere is the so-called shore tension, a flexible hydraulic standalone system that equals the use of a 60 tons bollard pull tugboat to keep a vessel in a fixed position along the key. In this film, we focused on mooring operations, on the daily practice, and on improvements in the whole nautical chain of professional mooring for more safety, more efficiency, and therefore a shorter turnaround time for a ship in a port. And last but not least, to protect expensive equipment like cranes or manifolds. We need good information, training and communication, and we need to raise the professionalism around the daily line handling practices give always the good communication between uh, the guys on deck that they are always in, in direct contact with the boatmen as always not only use your VHF but also use your eyes. With the increasing number of accidents uh, which are probably uh, um, reasoned in the fact uh, that the number of professional seamen are diminishing uh, the awareness at international uh, institutions uh, has been raised and uh, I'm confident that uh, there will be respective regulations in the near future. So there's a lot of work to do, because in the nautical chain, mooring shouldn't be the missing link. Goodbye and good luck.